I keep these lines above the marginal revenue line. First average variable and then average total. That's not my nicest average total. There we go. We'll work with that. And I'll put this a little bit. There. All right, average total is above, average variable, but they're both above the price, which means when we're trying to identify those values at four, we have to go from this point and straight up. I know students get confused. They don't know whether it's that minimum point, that minimum point. They write these big thick lines, they make them thick and they, you know, pretending that I can't see. I can always see these things. I look for these things. I probably said this a few times, even in class. So, where these points intersect the respective average cost curves. Draw over to the left, to the left. There's ATC, the value. There's AVC, the value. They're both above 10. There's your shutdown. Now, a good habit for five full points. You should calculate that value, average total cost. You should calculate that value, average variable cost. Let's try to do that. Average total cost. What's the formula? Total cost divided by output. 230. 230 divided by 4. Average variable cost. Total variable cost divided by output. Well, from the prior question, when the C, when we were trying to determine how big a loss it was, we had 55 for the variable cost. That's also divided by 4. So, if this is all uh, done properly, uh, let's see. Things will make sense. 4 into 230. 4 into 20 goes 5. Carry 3. 4 into 30 goes 7 and a half. I'm getting 57 and a half. 4 into 55. 4 to 5 goes once, carry 1. 4 into 15 goes 3 times, 3 left over, 13.75. Those are correct. So it's good to do those. Those values would go there and there respectively. And uh, we can even do a box drill just for practice as long as we're rolling. There's an A, there's a B, there's a C, those three boxes, all right? We can do a drill. You wouldn't have to do this in a test situation, just the values. But uh, let's see. Total revenue, A, B, or C. It's P times Q, P times Q, 10 times 4, just box A. Total cost. ATC times Q, all three boxes, A, B, C. So that means the profit or loss, clearly in this case it's a loss because costs are way bigger than revenue. A is covered by the revenue A, but B and C are not covered. The loss is B and C. Finally, total Variable cost, AT, AVC rather, AVC times Q, AVC looks like A and B. It's a box, remember. Total fixed cost, 
Well, if total cost is ABC and total variable cost is A and B, then only C is the total fixed cost. There you go. There's a problem. Every problem works like this. I hope this helps. I think I've gotten through the video without too much uh, difficulty, and I think you'll be able to understand it. So I'm going to post it tonight, and uh, hopefully it'll benefit you, and you'll get a look at it uh, before your test. Spot, you want to sit up? Up. Up. Stay on the zone. Spot. Are you there in the video? Did you get to, I don't know whether you got, they saw everybody. Everybody saw you. You're just relaxing. Okay. Uh, that's it. Thank you. All right? See you in class.